doing something a little bit different today. I'm going to be reviewing eMotion by MG. This is by far one of the most exciting vehicles to hit the Australian market as well as other markets as well. I mean, it's it's a concept card that's actually come to life and the price bracket, the performance, everything is just crazy. This is what it looks like. Let's get right into it. So what the hell is MG? You know, a lot of you might already know that, but we've got this brand which has a very very long history a lot of the english families your grandparents would have owned an mg in the past and they created everything from very commonest car to sports cars as well and we've seen them on racetracks too but recently it's been actually acquired by a chinese company and that's when things really started to change because just before that acquisition mg was actually a struggling business so now that they've acquired it, their sales have tripled, selling more than I think about 19,000 units just in the UK market alone. And right now they've got some pretty interesting vehicles where some of them are actually electric vehicles as well. And they're spending more time and energy and money into the research and development of a new car. After 7 billion pounds later here, we are with this brand new range as well as eMotion. So MG will be launching this brand new vehicle called eMotion. It was a concept car back in 2017 at the Shanghai Automotive Show. And look, some of the performance that it seems to have is crazy. Zero to 100 in four seconds. It's gonna be putting itself into direct competition with Porsche Taycan 4S and Model 3 if it's able to do what it claims to do. We're looking at a launch around late 2021, which I'm so excited by. And what I'm excited by the most is actually its price point. Knowing the actual car brand and the way they do business is probably gonna come with some sort of warranty. So buying a brand new will be totally worth it. And reliability will not necessarily have to become an issue because, well, A, it's electric, and B, not to say you know electric cars don't have problems, but B, it's gonna be covered on the warranty so you don't have to fork out a lot of money because if you compare this car with other cars in the space like your mercedes amg which has similar specs you know these things are bloody ridden with problems and hopefully these guys come with a warranty as well but that's a two hundred fifty thousand dollar car we also have porsche taycan which is a two hundred thousand dollar car again four seconds from zero to a hundred yes there is a prestige and branding with this car but you know what i don't know about porsche i don't know if this porsche looks that good like what have they done with these lights and with porsches i don't know how innovative they are i mean i genuinely genuinely don't feel that Porsche cars look that different from the previous model to the model after because it's just the same design. I understand they've nailed the design and it's got a very cultish following market. But the thing is, I don't know. I, I just I just don't really find the appeal in Porsche and why people love Porsche so much. Although their engineering is on point and there's a lot of people that love to drive it. And of course, it's gonna be competing with Model 3, which in Australia right now is actually a pretty expensive car. It's clocking in around that $91,000. So where is MG gonna sit? Well, it's slated for a late 2021 launch. The model will reportedly offer a range of about 240 kilometers with prices in the UK to start around 20,000 pounds Australian $35,000 mark. That is ridiculous because take a look at how impressive and luxurious this car looks. There is simply no way this car is a $35,000 car along with the performance that it's going to have. So very, very excited. But in saying that, I'm genuinely excited about the various innovation that this Chinese makes are bringing into the Australian and Western market. If you look at, for example, BYD, BYD just released this car called Han, which just arrived in Australia. It looks a bit like a Honda Civic, like the new one, but you know what? It's got performance, it's got autonomous driving, and it holds a lot of promise. This is not the only one. Like Lucy 
Lucid is another fantastic car that, that we're all keeping an eye on. These are all going to become Tesla killers because China has a much better production capacity. So looking at this e-motion, I'm really excited by it. I know there will be some delays because towards the end of last year, when this article was written and the impacts of coronavirus into the car manufacturing market in that a lot of the car prices have actually been going up, especially the used car models and the new models have been on back order because across the world, there's a massive shortage of microchips that go into cars. So when an electric car like this is being produced at the moment to come up with a parts to actually finalize a vehicle of this nature would be very, very difficult. So I suspect that there might be even further delays with MG. And you know what else is going to be delayed in Australia or has already faced delay is the C8, the Corvette C8, because of its fantastic price point and then the performance that the car offers for its drivers. I think this will be another car that will be very, very exciting for Australian market and buyers. And you know what? I'd love to get me one of these. And you know, when these come out, I hopefully will be able to get myself a physical one and do a physical review just for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I normally make videos on cryptocurrency, investment, real estate, all that kind of good stuff. But I just had to share my passion for this car. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video.